showcase recommends the use of the parental lockout system. Until you decide I might live with Gabriel. Why don't we all live in the same city? Because you wouldn't pay my tax bill. You are fucking cheeky. I know how much he loved you. <laughs> I miss him so much already. <laughs> I found this note my dad wrote three days ago. It's like if I hold this, he's still alive. You're very polished, very professional, but um, unfortunately for this weather girl, we are actually looking for a weather girl, not a weather middle-aged woman. So, you're on a show. What is it? You know, so you think you're so gifted. You want that? No. Yeah. Well, it's download to phones. Phones? Mm, people watch it on their phones. Why would they do that? Gabriel, I know you feel bad about what happened between you and Vince. You don't know how I feel. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Please tell me that's not my rabbit. Joe go? I don't know. He freaks me out. He just watches people. So do you. I'm not weird about it, though. I buried my rabbit. Could you come with me and say some prayers over him? Maybe later. Get in. I've got my shoes on. I don't care. like dad. Bed. I know. <sighs> you okay? I'm gonna go to school. You don't have to. I know. I'm like a celebrity though. They all feel sorry for me. It's quite nice. Sorry about your rabbit. Don't tell them I'm awake. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Christine. Thanks, 
doesn't make me to go to school today. And yet, I do. How about oh, that? Mum. Just get dressed, Max. Yesterday was kind of huge. I got home at one in the morning. Don't we all just need to chill out? No, we need to get on with our lives. Mum, I just think that... You just think what? Ugh, I'll get dressed. I'll be fine with mine. What's an eggs, mate? No. Your old man loved my scrambled eggs. In fact, I, I reckon he was kind of obsessed by them. I'd never teach him the secrets, though. Yeah. So, um, I bet you're a tiger with the ladies. Good one, Huey. You don't have to go to school, Judge. I wish everybody would stop saying that. Oh, hi, Gigi. Are you going to school? I, I, I don't think you have to, honey. Are you, is your mum up? Did you get some lunch? I buried my rabbit. I'm sorry. Tuna and corn. A disgusting combination. Must you say things like that? I'm fragile. Well, maybe we should just taste them all. Prioritise that way and then just start rejecting people at the door. I ain't tasting anything. You know what we need. What? Bloody Mary's. Genius. I know, just. Do you think we should check on Ali? Nah, she'll be right. Just leave her. She knows we're here. Last night was big. <laughs> when she passed your husband. <laughs> mm. yeah, um, grief unhinges people. You okay? Oh, yeah, just um, <clears throat> I'm over. What's up? Arse abscess, cubicle three. Great. Look, you're gonna have to unclench. No. You can't sit down. You're in agony. This will just pop the abscess and we can drain it and see if you need surgery. Jesus. It'll be better in the long run, believe me. Need you in two. Carrington, 30-year-old woman, pedestrian. She's dead. She was bleeding internally and um, basically dead on arrival.
helicopter? Yes. Are you gonna call it? Eight thirty-three. Okay. <clears throat> oh, how was the funeral? I think I did something stupid, but I don't remember what. Did your wife remember what you did? She gives me that impression. You in the doghouse? I'm in the dog bowl. <clears throat> Look, Tim, I don't want to be a prick, but as your new advisor, I got to tell you, you need to finish this thing with Nikki Barnum and Vince Kovac's wife. Yeah? I oh, know. Oh, I kissed Ali. Shit. And who's Ali? Vince's wife. As in the... <laughs> as in the widow? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's him. You in a relationship? Yeah, seven years. Oh, wow. Wow, indeed. And it's, um, it's good? You're, you're happy? Yeah, I mean, she's a tricky person. She's slightly depressive. Oh. So, yeah. But, um, I've given so much to it, and... I do love her, so... <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is, does it? You always feel a little, um... Trapped. <laughs> I love her. It's just... Oh, this is going to sound screwed up, but yesterday at the funeral, I thought... God, I wish I was Ali. Really? Freedom and sympathy. And a free pass to do whatever the hell you want, and no one can judge you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so? <laughs> I mean, she should be coming to our houses, cooking for us. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Hi, Ellie. What are you doing? Working. You okay? I'm in a taxi. <clears throat> yeah, where to? I don't know. I feel like going to the movies. You want to come to the movies? 
Yeah, I don't think so. Where are you? Working. Not what I mean. I mean, where are you? I keep looking around for you and you're not there. Ellie, I can't talk. You don't have to. It's a movie. I rang her mobile, she's not answering. Maybe that's her. She's not gonna ring her own bell, Huey. Excellent point. Hi. Hi. Uh, everything okay? Well, we don't know where Ali is, so if you come around to pass her again, then... I remember. I'm sorry. Christine. Piss off, Tim. You shit me right now. Let's just talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I will. Like I always do. And we'll make our peace, like we always do. But right now, I just want to hate you for a few hours. Do you want to know why? Why? Because you deserve it. I don't really want to know my future. Oh, what do you want? Do you know about dead people? Crossing over? Like that show on TV? Mm. Do you want to contact somebody? I don't know. Can you do that? If I do want it? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have that gift. You just do the future. I guess. Did someone die recently? My dad. A few days ago. Oh. You poor thing. He got hit by a car. So it was kind of sudden. And I was watching this movie once, which said when people die suddenly, their souls don't go to heaven straight away. Is that true? I do know this that when someone dies, they often are around for a time. You know, a sense of their presence or signs. Signs? Mm. Like what? Every day, I go walking at St Kilda Beach. When my sister died, a seagull would follow me for months. And then I realized it was her. Well, did you try and catch it? No, no. She just wanted to help me through it. Right. You'll be okay, I can tell you that. You are a strong person who takes good care of herself. Would you have known? If I'd seen you last week, would you have known my dad was about to die? Snowy. I just don't feel that funny. You are rich, you are. You got, you got legs. I don't know. You know, you didn't tell the others. I don't know. It's just you and me. And Adam said. We're just going through a rough patch, I guess. What's wrong? Honestly. Oh, well, she's a nagging bitch. <laughs> uh, but I'm no picnic either. I mean, I, I drink too much, spend too much, fart too much. Gross. Sex, um, how do I put this? We don't have sex. Oh, and yeah, it's screwing me up. Um, so I started watching porn. Yeah. <laughs> Obsessively watching porn. Is it weird I'm telling you that? No. Yeah, that's right. no. Yeah. There's nothing um, normal about today, so go right ahead. Well, um, at first it was kind of normal porn, but that gets kind of boring, so 
move on to the harder stuff to get off and then weirder. Um, then that does nothing for me, so yeah, then worse. Mm. Worse? What's worse? Do I want to know? Okay, um, last month I was in Birmingham on business and I'm kind of watching myself from the outside and I'm on the phone and I'm about to hire a transvestite hooker. And I start to think, here we are. <laughs> what has happened to you? Wait, isn't a transvestite a man? Exactly, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know you. No, no, no. I don't, I never have. No. Have you talked to her? Yeah, but she's like, sex, big deal. No. <laughs> but it is a big deal. Mm. You, you want your wife to want you. I guess so. No, and then, I mean, I don't want to be the guy who sleeps with hookers, who cheats on his wife, but I feel it's becoming inevitable. And then suddenly I'm the bad guy who listens to car straights forever or divorces, tells the girls, no, and then I'm the asshole. You're not an asshole, Huey. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't feel so bad about I it. I just want to have sex. Good luck, mate. Now that you've told everyone here, you might be in with a chance. <laughs> what about you? You okay? Dazed and numb. I can smell him. His smell is in my nostrils. You wanna go home? Not yet. Just imagine that you're full of bubbles, okay? You could float. Yeah, okay, I, I totally know what you mean. Melanie, can I see you? You're Nat! Oh my god, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Just imagine you're full of bubbles and float away. What's going on? Um, looks like auditions. Yeah, we all know who the obvious choice is, though. Well, Darren said as much. Yeah, I know. I just thought it'd be good if we had some options. I mean, we know that you're great on the phones, Nat. It's just on the bigger screen. It's just your age. It really pops. Hey, what, what's your problem with me? I don't like you. What? I don't want you to get the job. Okay? And fortunately for me, the men I need to convince are men. So if I can find some bubbly girl with good tits and no crow's feet, then you're toast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, honey, you shouldn't take me on. No, you'll lose. You'll be Googling Centrelink by Friday. If you'll excuse us, Nat, we've got testing to do. Okay, be my guest. <laughs> Boys, oh. you need poison this business. It's not that simple, is it? in love with his wife. Was in love with his wife. Might still be in love with his wife. Whose sister I'm screwing. <laughs> I, mean, I still can't believe he's dead, you know? I don't know whether to feel guilty or angry or sad or not give a fuck. You know, part of me doesn't even give a fuck. It sounds like you give a fuck. Are you allowed to swear? I don't know. It happens. If you're unhappy with your situation, then change it. As for Vince, well, it's just gonna hurt for a long time. You loved him. He was a prick. Yes, he was, but you still did.
I'm okay. It's my special risotto. And mine. And chief parmigiano grater, Gigi. And mine. Where'd you learn it? Well, no doubt the feisty liquor, otherwise known as Lucia. What's a liquor? <laughs> It's someone who tests the risotto with their... Finger. Yes. Finger. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Mum. Where have you been? I oh, went to the movies. Yeah, no. Smells amazing. Mm. You okay? Yeah, I just need some clear air. Hey, you. Hey. Listen, Ali, um... Do you think you can find Vince's will? The sooner you start probate, the better. Yeah, it's probably in his office somewhere. Does it have to be tonight? We'll just find it tonight. We don't have to do anything. No big decisions. Yeah. Okay. Friends are here. They're really nice. Christine killed my rabbit. Stupid cow. I went to the city and had hot chocolate in the arcade like we always do. And the spotty waitress was really nice. So he had agreed to sell them his share of the company for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Right. Well, Vince never really talked to me about business. I don't really know anything about that part of his life, and that was most of his life. That's weird, I think. If you just sign the contract, I'll give you a check. And I'm sorry, but it's kind of important time-wise. Is that why you're nervous? No. <laughs> I'm sorry for kissing you last night. Yeah. I guess we were smashed. Yeah, more ways than one. Yeah. OK. I'll sign it. You don't have any questions? Do you think I should? No. Yeah, yeah. just there, yeah. Tonight, me and Elle made risotto. It's a kind of gluggy rice thing, but I said I liked it because Elle's so nice. Everyone got really drunk last night. Hey, you. Hey, you. I think I might leave. Leave what? You know, go back. To Medicine Sans Frontier. Bullshit. What? The secret of me pissing off back to London and doing barrels of coke. <laughs> I hardly think it's the same thing. It's running thing. away. You told me yourself how, how screwed up you were and how futile it all seemed in the end. No, look, I, I, I think it's a good thing to do, you know, and I have to... F ...do something. You just need to grow up. That's what you need to do. <laughs> and you don't. Jesus, Gabriel, your best friend just died. You just grow up and get depressed about it. I mean, it's horrible. It's going to be horrible for a long time. Do you care? That he's dead? I, I care that you guys loved him. Gotta go. Have to go fuck someone up.
you want to get stoned? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love your lip Thank you. Can you join us? Oh, actually, I've got some going away drinks. Actually, they're really boring, so yes, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> we were discussing the porno our host Selma was in. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. No, I was just saying to Melanie this morning, it's so unfortunate. I mean, this actually, this thing I don't get about the younger generation, she's like, oh, sod her, she's dead, you know, move on. She was? Yeah, she's so cold, that girl, she's so cold. But this, this business, you know, it's, it's about relationships, you know, people. And she thinks it's about making steps out of the bodies that drop. Can you get some pate? You guys hungry? Oh, and some oysters. Yeah, genius. She's a really good friend of mine, Selma. Oh, really? I didn't know that. It's really sad. Mm. Yeah, I called her this morning and I sent her some flowers. And... She's in hiding. Oh, no, no, no. She'll be back. No, she is too good at what she does. You know, presenting isn't just, you know, bubbly faces and big tits. You know, there is an art to it, you know, and it, and it takes 10 years to learn it. You're really good on the phone. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's fun, you know. No matter how gracefully you've handled it. Oh. Well, she was a star in the UK yes. and uh, now she's on mobile <laughs> sites, but no complaining. Oh. I'm a grown-up, you know. You, you do the best wherever you are. You know, that really pisses me off, her saying that about Selma. Melanie's always so sweetness and light whenever we see her. Oh, you know, she's young and she's ambitious. You know, we can't really blame her for that, can we? Should we get some more champagne? Yeah, of course we should. Yeah. And then you can tell me where you got your necklace. It's not all bad. You got Whitehall and Palm Mall. Just to get Northumberland. I'm going to buy a house. And did you get 200 when you passed go? Yeah, I got that. Monopolist. Knife. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pig in our school concert. I should have been a chicken. I was putting my costume on, and in it, Dad had put a chub a chub. And on it, it said, Good luck, P, and an X. I didn't know that. Someone stole the chopper chop. Probably Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to Vince. Hell of a guy. Hell of a friend. A complete one of a kind in a world of clones. To Vince. Vince. Dad. Mmm. <laughs> Shall I open another bottle? Do you have a plane to catch? Bottle of red and a couple of steel locks, I'll wake up and I'll be in Heathrow. <laughs> Time for bed, you. Oh. Yeah, me too. No. Start work at five. Ew. All right. See ya. Good night. I'll walk you out. Better go home soon. You know what's weird? I don't. I don't have to worry about shit like that anymore. You know, like, no one can tell me what to do. Oh, your mum? No, no, she can make me feel guilty. She can't... She can't scare me. He was pretty scary. Your dad? Yeah, I know. Have you on it the whole time? He'd be like, let's go for a milkshake. And then suddenly you'd be watching him smash some guy's window in. And then you'd go for a milkshake. <laughs> yeah. Stay. Oh my God. I'd love to, though. I'll come back down any weekend you want, yeah? Mm -hmm. I may ring you a lot drunk and missing you. Promise. Yeah, I do. Thank you. Can we go now? I'm teaching you compassion. Hi, <laughs> Lucinda. Oh, I didn't hang up on you. Jesus, Lucinda, why are you being such a, a cow about this? Hello, Lucinda. It's me, Ali. Thank you. Listen, I just, I need to tell you, you have to have sex with your husband. Because Vince and I didn't. We let it drift away and he cheated on me. And that was how we got close to each other. Always. So, 
Just fuck him, will you? Hi, Lucinda. I'll call you from Singapore, OK? <laughs> and that's why I love you, Ellie. <laughs> Go on, get yeah. out of here. Okay, we're gone. I got a call from the health department today. I'm very impressed with my juvenile detention paper. Well, so they should be. It's brilliant. Believe that? I hammer them and their policies and they won't talk to me about it. That's great. Hmm. It doesn't seem real, Vince being dead. No. I thought today, what if you died? You thought or you wished? Oh, I don't say that. I love you. When that guy rang me from the department, I was so happy. I just couldn't wait to tell you. You're always the first person I want to call. Even when you're mad at me? Yeah, I know. That's what makes it so annoying. I'm not going to die. You will, though, if you patch someone else. Understood. I, I thought we weren't going to do this anymore. No, maybe I'm here to check and see how you are. Really? No. So did you do it? Well, time, what the hell, but I'm pretty good at it. Are we still talking about your job? Wrong. Gabriel! Some coffee. I have to go. Oh, Ali, Ali, fuck, Ali. Ali, Ali, come back up. You had sex with him. It's no big deal. No, it never is. 
this with you? I mean... green that's downstairs B bathroom. Are you sure I have to put it downstairs? Yes, I'm sure. You're such a nerd sometimes, Mum. <sighs> no, I'm not. I'm organised. Hello? Hey. Hey, Nat, do you like it? Yeah, wow. Guess the insurance money came through okay. Mm -hmm. It's a bit cool for you, isn't it? Well, I'm cool. Why do people think I'm not cool? No, it's just, you know, it's the sort of place I'd live. <laughs> Good. Because... I thought maybe you'd want to move in. I thought you'd never ask. The one thing, though, if I, if I live here, you're going to have to start talking to Gabrielle again. We're not doing it anymore, but you have to get over it. <laughs> I, I don't see that he did anything wrong apart from, you know, bad timing. <gasps> I don't know. Do you still love him? I don't feel anything at all about anything except the kids. You can help. Did, did I tell you my, my Q score? It's off the charts. I don't know what that means. Oh, it means I'm really popular. <laughs> Romeo. Not my type. You're the only year 11 arrogant enough to have a type. No, I mean like they're indie girls. They make me feel stupid. They're like, do you know the shit band from Glasgow? I'm like, no, I don't, because they're shit, you posing bitch. <laughs> Maybe you're just not in the mood. You have a joint? No. Hey, Fags, you got a smoke? Oh. What? Oh, Romeo, Romeo, don't. It's your extent, man. What the fuck is your problem? used to it. it. happens, you know? Yeah, I, I know this. <sighs> hey, um, how about talking to someone? My, my mum? I'm fine, Max. So, yeah. I'm cooking. Really? Why? Celebrating? Ah, uh, how did you know? Hey. Oh, hi. Um, got some champagne. Did you tell her? 
Tell me what? Well, we talked to Billy today. And uh, it looks like the Premier's going to be gone in a month. So uh, we're going to have a crack. You're kidding. No. <laughs> we start tomorrow. So that's why we're celebrating. Yeah. Didn't you have some big interview today? Oh, yeah, sweetheart. How did it go? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they said we're an outsider. I got it. Brilliant. That's brilliant. I know. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really are celebrating this. Do you think Dad will know we moved? I suppose. It's strange, isn't it? We never lived anywhere else. I think it'll be good. Do you miss him still? Yeah. Do you think we could dig up my rabbit and rebury it here? No. Showcase recommends the use of the parental lockout system. Until you decide I might live with Gabriel. Why don't we all live in the same city? Because you wouldn't pay my tax bill. You are fucking cheeky. I know how much he loved you. <laughs> I miss him so much already. I found this note my dad wrote three days ago. It's like if I hold this, he's still alive. You're very polished, very professional, but um, unfortunately for this weather girl, we are actually looking for a weather girl, not a weather middle-aged woman. So, you're on a show. What is it? You know, so you think you're so gifted. You're on that? Yeah. Well, it's download to phones. Phones? Mm, people watch it on their phones. Why would they do that? Gabriel, I know you feel bad about what happened between you and Vince. You don't know how I feel. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Jesus. Please tell me that's not my rabbit.
did Joe go? I don't know. He freaks me out. He just watches people. So do you. I'm not weird about it, though. I buried my rabbit. Can you come with me and say some prayers over him? Maybe later. Get in. I've got my shoes on. I don't care. Everyone out there? Yeah. Smells like Dad. Bed. I know. Hmm. Are you okay? I'm gonna go to school. You don't have to. I know. I'm like a celebrity though. They all feel sorry for me. It's quite nice. Sorry about your rabbit. Don't tell them I'm awake. Seven years. Oh, wow. Wow, indeed. And it's, um, it's good? Yeah, you're happy? Yeah, I mean, she's a tricky person. She's slightly depressive. Oh. So, yeah. But, um, I've given so much to it and... I do love her, so... Doesn't matter what it is, does it? You always feel a little, um... Trapped. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I love her. It's just... Oh, this is gonna sound screwed up, but yesterday at the funeral, I thought... God, I wish I was Ali. Really? Freedom and sympathy. And a free pass to do whatever the hell you want, and no one can judge you. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, she should be coming to our houses, cooking for us. Yeah. Right? <laughs> mm. Hi, Ellie. What are you doing? Working. You okay? I'm in a taxi. <clears throat> yeah, where to? I don't know. I feel like going to the movies. You want to come to the movies? Yeah, I don't think so. Where are you? Working. Not what I mean. I mean, where are you? I keep looking around for you and you're not there. Ellie, I can't talk. You don't have to. It's a movie. I rang her mobile, she's not answering. Maybe that's her. She's not going to ring her own bell, Huey. Excellent point. Hi. Hi. Uh, everything OK? Well, we don't know where Ali is, so if you come around to pass her again, then... I remember. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Christine. Piss off, Tim. You shit me right now. Let's just talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I will. Like I always do. And we'll make our peace, like we always do. But right now, I just want to hate you for a few hours. Do you want to know why? Why? Because you deserve it. I don't really want to know my future. Oh, what do you want? Do you know about dead people? 
crossing over, like that show on TV. Mm. Do you want to contact somebody? I don't know. Can you do that, if I do want it? No. <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't have that gift. You just do the future. I guess. Did someone die recently? My dad, a few days ago. Oh, you poor thing. He got hit by a car, so it was kind of sudden. And I was watching this movie once, which said when people die suddenly, their souls don't go to heaven straight away. Is that true? I do know this, that when someone dies, they often around for a time. You know, a sense of their presence or signs. Signs? Mm. Like what? Every day, I go walking at St Kilda Beach. When my sister died, a seagull would follow me for months. And then I realized it was her. Well, did you try and catch it? No, no, she just wanted to help me through it. Right. You'll be okay, I can tell you that. You are a strong person who takes good care of herself. Would you have known? If I'd seen you last week, would you have known my dad was about to die? Snowy. I just don't feel that funny. You are great, You are. You got. You got that. I don't know. You know, I didn't tell the others. I don't know. It's just you and me. And Adam said. We're just going through a rough patch, I guess. What's wrong? Honestly. Oh, well, she's a nagging bitch. <laughs> uh, but I'm no picnic either. I mean, I, I drink too much, spend too much, fart too much. Gross. Sex. Um, how do I put this? We don't have sex. No. Oh. And it's screwing me up. Um, so I started watching porn. Yeah. <laughs> Obsessively watching porn. Is it weird I'm telling you that? No. Yeah, that's right. no. There's nothing um, normal about today, so go right ahead. <laughs> Well, um, at first it was kind of normal porn, but that gets kind of boring, so you move on to the harder stuff to get off, and then weirder. Um, then that does nothing for me, so, yeah, then worse. Mm. Worse? What's worse? Do I want to know? Uh, okay, um, last month I was in Birmingham on business, and I'm kind of watching myself from the outside, and I'm on the phone, and I'm about to hire a transvestite hooker. And I start to think, here we are. <laughs> what has happened to you? But isn't a transvestite a man? Exactly, yeah. I, I didn't know you. No, no, no. I don't, I never have. No. Have you talked to her? Yeah, but she's like, sex, big deal, you know? <laughs> but it is a big deal. Mm. You, you want your wife to want you. I guess so. No, and then, I mean, I don't want to be the guy who sleeps with hookers, who cheats on his wife, but I feel it's becoming inevitable. And then suddenly I'm the bad guy who lives in the car straights forever or divorces, tells the girls, no, and then I'm the asshole. You're not an asshole, Huey. I mean, otherwise you wouldn't feel so bad about I it. I just want to have sex. Good luck, mate. Now that you've told everyone here, you might be in with a chance. <laughs> what about you? You okay? Dazed and numb. I can smell him. The smell is in my nostrils. You wanna go home? Not yet. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Gaia Andrews, and welcome to So You Think You're So Gifted. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was great. I just want you to try it again, and um, just imagine that you're full of bubbles, okay? You could float. Yeah, okay, I, I totally know what you mean. Melanie, can I see you? You're Nat! Oh my god, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Just imagine you're full of bubbles and float away. What's going on? Uh, looks like auditions. Yeah, we all know who the obvious choice is, though. Come on, Darren said as much. Yeah, I know. I just thought it'd be good if we had some options. I mean, we know that you're great on the phones now. It's just on the bigger screen. It's just your age. It really pops. What, what's your problem? Oh, yeah, just, um, <clears throat> I'm over. What's up? Our senses. Cubicle three. Great. Look, you're gonna have to unclench. No. You can't sit down. You're in agony. This will just pop the abscess and we can drain it and see if you need surgery. Jesus. It'll be better in the long run, believe me. Need you in two. Carrington, 30-year-old woman, pedestrian. She's dead. She was bleeding internally and um, basically dead on arrival. I think I did something stupid, but I don't remember what. Does your wife remember what you did? She gives me that impression. You in the doghouse? I'm in the dog bowl. <clears throat> Look, Tim, I don't want to be a prick, but as your new advisor, I've got to tell you, you need to finish this thing with Nikki Barnum and Vince Kovac's wife. Yeah? Oh, no. Oh, I kissed Ali. Shit. Right, who's Ali? Vince's wife. As in the... <laughs> as in the widow. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Ali?
um, L, are you, um, you in a relationship? Yeah. Jesus, Christine. Okay, let's go. Come on. We'll oh. be late. What? You can't expect me to go to school today. And yet, I do. How oh. about that? Mum. Just get dressed, Max. Yesterday was kind of huge. I got home at one in the morning. Don't we all just need to chill out? No, we need to get on with our lives. Mum, I just think that... You just think what? Ugh, I'll get dressed. Many. No, I'll be fine with mine. Better? Much. That's wrong, man. Romeo, want some eggs, mate? No. Your old man loved my scrambled eggs. In fact, I, I reckon he was kind of obsessed by them. I'd never teach him the secrets, though. Yeah. So, um, I bet you're a tiger with the ladies. Good one, Huey. Don't go to school, Judge. I wish everybody would stop saying it. Oh, hi, Gigi. Are you going to school? I, I, I don't think you have to, honey. Uh, is your mum up? Did you get some lunch? I buried my rabbit. I'm sorry. Tuna and corn. A disgusting combination. Must you say things like that? I'm fragile. Well, maybe we should just taste them all. Prioritise that way and then just start rejecting people at the door. I ain't tasting anything. You know what we need. What? Bloody Mary's. Genius. I know, dust. Do you think we should check on Ali? Nah, she'll be right. Just leave her. She knows we're here. Last night was big. <laughs> when she passed her husband. <laughs> yeah, grief unhinges people. You okay? 